Who Draws. Hi, my name is Kurt Asplund and this is my studio. Well, today I'm going to show you how to draw a cute field mouse. This little guy is enjoying himself on top of a mushroom. Who knows what he's eating? A little bit of grass, a little bit of the mushroom, who knows? All I know is he's pretty cute. But before we get started, would you do me a big favor? Please give me a big thumbs up on this video. That would tell YouTube to spread it out to a larger audience and you would really help me. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, hey, let's get to drawing. See you in the studio. All right, let's get started. First thing we're going to draw is our field mouse's head. And it's almost like a triangle. Top part is relatively flat. And uh, it has very curved ends. Let's get his body in place now. It'll be a big old oval. More flat at the bottom. So he's like, his weight is coming down on the bottom part of it. Let's get his ear. This is the ear that's closer to us. And then the other ear that's in the in the background there, a little bit smaller. We're using overlap to make it look like it's back in space. A little V for his nose. And then we'll get his eyes and one eye is bigger than the other. Whoa! Hey, if you're liking this video, go down there and give me a thumbs up. You got this. All right, let's get his arm in close up here. And uh, just make sure you're drawing lightly because we're gonna come back in with some simple little hands. But this will just help us to indicate um, that he's stretching his hands out maybe for balance because he's on top of this mushroom. Now working on his hind leg, this is his hip. Got his uh, back legs coming in here, so but it's it's amazing how many anim animals have a similar um, anatomy. I mean, from a rabbit to a little mouse to a cat, they all have those back legs that help them to really leap when when needed to. All right, let's get his uh, nice big old tail here and make it nice, nice big S curve going back. Now let's work on his mushroom, the mushroom here, a nice big big round cap to this mushroom here. Gives them a nice area to balance on. And then we're gonna come down with the stem and make sure you draw it a little bit at an angle. This will give it a lot of interest. Curve the bottom because we're looking down at the uh, bottom of it where it goes into the ground. So make sure you have it curved. And then we're gonna add a couple stones. I always, I always like to draw in threes. Threes team seem to add a lot of interest to things as, instead of drawing even numbers of things. So like in this case, we have one mushroom and three stones. And then when I'm gonna indicate where my grass is, I always think of three blades of grass or one blade of grass. It, 
for some reason I, I it, um, it just adds a lot of uh, interest and interest to your drawing when you draw in odd numbers. So that brings us to the end of our field mouse drawing. As you could see, I've kind of, uh, this is the under drawing and you can um, freeze it or pause the video at any time. Look at my drawings on the left hand side and you can darken up your lines and um, kind of make some additional choices if you want. So great job today and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.